All right, folks, so she plays second in the 100-meter race at the National Championship, the same place we call trials. Her name is Kemba Nelson, and she's definitely one to watch out for at the upcoming World Championship. She's my guest now, um, Diaspora Check-In. Morning, Kemba, how are you? Morning. I'm great. <laughs> you sure about that? Because last time I checked, I think Oregon is two hours behind, right? Yeah. What time is it now, then? <laughs> Four forty one AM. So you're upset with all of us, don't it? <laughs> well, I thank you for, for allowing us to, to get you up so early. Congrats again on coming second. I, I suspect every race, I mean you will, you have the indoor sixty meter in the NCAA record, I think you did seven point zero five. So you are a sprinter, but I, and I suspect every race you think you're going to win, but were you surprised that you got second at her national trials with the fastest woman alive in that race? You actually beat that woman. Were you surprised? Yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I came like fourth or something. I didn't know I was at like, yeah. I was about to walk away. <laughs> and then, I, and I saw that big hope that you got from Sharika Jackson. So um, tell me about that race. What were your thoughts going into the race? Obviously, you want to be in the world champion, uh, uh, world championship. Uh, what were your thoughts? Uh, uh, you know, don't tell me that them say go on your blocks and uh, I'll go. <laughs> but don't tell me that. But what were your thoughts when you were behind your blocks? What were you thinking? Um, minus um, everything that happened before the race, um, I had to stick to just. I don't want to say just executing because that's kind of cliche as well, but. I know I had a problem with my ending, my finish part, um, my last part of the race, and I had, to, I had to get it right to place. So that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. Um, sometimes you see people looking left, looking right to kind of see where they are and where the other athletes are. Um, where you said you didn't even realize that you uh, finished in the top three. So were you concerned about where anybody else was, or you just went along here and said, well, I gone? Well, I couldn't see anything. I was far on the outside away from all the noise so but i just run i just i was running <laughs> yeah and and then when you realized that you came second what was that feeling like not only the fact that you made the team but you come second in a jamaican sprint race yeah that from i don't know probably one of the best things that happened in my track career so far apart from obviously breaking the, the college record and coming second at at track at NCAAs, but that race against that field, second, yeah, I don't think anything topped that yet until we got to the world championship. Yeah. But we talk about I, I, I'm happy you put in yet. I was going to say, you still have a lot to go. First time I saw you, were you were running for Mount Alvernia and Montego Bay. Did track start before that? Um, like in like primary school? Mm. No. I normally I I wouldn't I wasn't on the track team officially, but I'll run like every sports day for my house and that was that was basically it. Yep. When did you think that maybe you had some quality to be a, a, a top sprinter? Even not thinking about winning anything, but when did you think that, yeah man, I think I can do this, I can represent my school and who knows, maybe I can even win. When did you think about that? Mm. So when I was doing the sports day thing at my like my final year in primary school, I won champion girl just running. So I was like, oh, okay. But I went to Mount Alberni and they didn't have like a very good track team. So I'm like, well, let's see where this can take me. So I joined the team and I was like the first one to run like sub 13 in the 100 as a class four at Mount Alberni. I'm like, okay, I should probably continue doing this. Yeah. Any, any huge disappointments thus far? I mean, you got a scholarship, you went to UTEC, you went to, to, to Oregon. Any, any, any disappointments thus far that if you had a chance to do it over, you would? I said earlier this season, um, I wasn't the best um, going into, because you mentioned I had the, the collegiate record. Um, someone broke it this indoor season, this past indoor season. Yeah, I was kind of hurt. Like, I hurt my, my hamstring leading up to the championship, so I didn't get to defend my title. So that was, that was, that was, that was bad. <laughs> okay. Um, you go to University of Oregon. The World Championships will be in Oregon. You've run on this track at, in Eugene, Oregon. Do, does that help you at all or no? It does. Because I also train there, so I know 
I know, I don't say I know the track, but yeah, I know, I, I'm pretty familiar with it. <laughs> they, they say it's a fast track, which I've never been able to understand because a track is a track is a track is a track. So when they say it's a fast track, what does that mean really, as opposed to say the track at the National Stadium in Kingston? Track in the state at Kingston is also fast. I guess it's the surface. I want to say it's the surface or it gives you a little bounce and you know, say every time you run there, you have to get something good out of it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Great to meet you officially. I've, I've watched you run many times. I congratulate you again for making the World Championship team and to be a sprinter in Jamaica and to qualify for the World Championship team. Um, you, it is a, an amazing feat. I congratulate you and I, I wish you all the very best. God bless you. And, and I know, I have a feeling you'll be on the podium. God bless you. Look after yourself and, and work hard. <laughs> all right? Thanks. Yeah, man. Yeah. Jamaican sprinter, part of our um, hundreds and probably hundred meter um, race and probably will be part of the four by one also. Who knows? We might just get a world record order for um, Kemba Nelson. Uh, former Mount Alvernia, former UTEC, and now national uh, runner. All right. After the break, we share a few interesting facts about running. All right. No problem. Mm -hmm.